Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome in to the Rockstar Flipper YouTube channel. It is Thursday. Today's October 24th, 2019, and it's 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're not watching this video on Thursday, uh, the 24th at 9 p.m., it's not live anymore. This will be live from about 9 to about 9.45. So otherwise, watch the replay, enjoy it, and uh, hopefully I'll see you live on the next show. So how is everybody doing? Welcome in. How was your uh, week? How was your Monday through Thursday, we're one day from TGIF. I love doing Thursday live shows because I know everyone gets to wake up tomorrow with their Friday, their TGIF. I know for some of you, it doesn't mean much, but for a lot of us, it's just that mental thought of Friday. So welcome in, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, give yourself a big hand for being here. And if you're a first-time viewer, uh, I appreciate you taking the time to join the live show. So let's jump in to the topic at hand. Um and uh, oh, before I go any further, I do want to tell you guys that over in the chat, if they've got a blue name and a blue wrench, and right now it looks like Adam is the only one in the chat, but Adam's exploits is um, one of my admins, my moderators of the chat. If you have questions, concerns, comments, you can hit him up and he'll also be linking things for you. He also has a YouTube channel. You can click right there on his name or uh, type in Adam's exploits into YouTube and you'll find him. Uh, I do want an early shout out to Alexis McGinn for 499 Super Chat. Want to get this in before it gets drowned out. Thank you so much, Alexis. I really appreciate that. So my beard is getting grizzly Adams. It is, it is. I will, uh, I'll shave for you guys. So tonight's um, uh, chat is going to be about not quitting, not giving up, finding a new way, a new route. And I had some questions. So let me go over the first two things with you guys that probably show up in my email messages all the time. So one is that a lot of you are intimidated by other platforms, which I get, okay? And, and I totally understand that and I want to address that. And the second part of finding a new route is that a lot of you say you want to become experts on one platform. You want to be an absolute expert on eBay before you move on to something else. And I understand that as well. Is there anybody show of hands in the chat that feels like that? Like you want to be the expert of one thing before you move on to any other platform? Is there there's quite a bit of emails and messages that I get probably they, they lean that way. So um, that's kind of uh, kind of something I hear all the time and I get it. I get it. So Justin's in the chat as well. He's one of my admins. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Justin and Jamie as well for being here. So hi to everybody who joined the chat. Um, is that something that, uh, though, that everybody thinks along those lines, like I need to be an expert before I move on to another platform. I'm interested in Amazon, but I need to get myself steady on eBay or I need to figure this out. I want to address that as well. Don't get me wrong. It's, uh, it's not a bad thought, but I'm going to address it. So let's start at number one. Um, the whole being an expert is, is whatever, but number one is the overwhelming and how easy it is. So a lot of people ask me, I get emails and messages. So you guys know that I advertise kind of a training package to teach you eBay, to teach you Amazon, to teach you Poshmark, to teach you all the different platforms. It is linked below. But um, so I have that. And so people are like, well, it's great if you teach us, but how hard is it? How overwhelming, how intimidating is Amazon? or Poshmark or either of them. I think most people are more intimidated by Amazon, right? Is it, most people in here that don't sell on Amazon, is it, is it an intimidation? What is the reason? In the chat, put it over here in the chat. What is the reason for those of you that have never sold on Amazon, uh, whether you're intimidated, whether you think it's money, whether you're not interested, whether you hate Amazon, some of you that hate Amazon, I don't get it. But um, what is the reason you're not on Amazon? Like I, I kind of need to get an idea of like, of like what the first, you know, the top tier reasons are. And then we can touch on that about being intimidated about, you know, the the process selling on Amazon, how easy it is. I don't think a lot of people realize just how easy a lot of platforms are beyond eBay because they have to deal with this eBay stuff all the time. And they deal with like the glitches and they deal with the item specifics and they deal with like the listing and the whole big thing. They don't realize how easy, just how easy Amazon and, and even Poshmark can be. Yeah, Posh has the social sharing party side of it, but Posh is pretty easy to list on, right? Everybody that's Poshmark, it's, it's pretty easy, right? I agree with that, disagree with that. Amazon is even easier. Believe it or not, Amazon is super, super easy to list. That's FBM. FBA, a little more complicated, but for the most part, Amazon is easy. Um, and so I want to touch on that just a second. Um, uh, only other platform in Australia is Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, I listed something on Facebook Marketplace today. 
Uh, Tanya, can't, I uh, don't think you can be an expert on anything. It's always changing. That's a great point. Um, there are a lot of experienced people. You know, I don't think of myself as an expert on any one thing. I do know a ton about eBay and a ton about Amazon. I feel like I'm really well experienced on everything, at least the three big platforms. So that's pretty good. Amazon's complicated and I don't know what to sell. Tanya, Britting, Tanya, is it Brittingham? Brittingham, yeah. Uh, and Eric wants to get into Amazon. Eric, you've been saying it, man. You got to do it. You got to do it. Uh, Alexis intimidated by being gated. Um, and Dylan says a lot on his plate, uh, scared of adding that on. Um, thrifty mom, CLO, Clo, thrifty mom, Clo, not interested. And I feel as if it's hard. Okay. Phil says I'm too old. Amazon is strict from four eyed hustler. So a lot of these, um, a lot of these comments talking about being difficult or being restricted and, and it's all great, great questions and comments and concerns. Uh, Southern blue skies. I don't know where to get stuff to sell on Amazon. Well, you wouldn't believe that you can get stuff to sell on Amazon at the exact same place you get stuff to sell on eBay, right? Um, Vicky, uh, Amazon is strict. Yep. Have your Halloween costume ready to go. Uh, question from Adam. Yeah, my Halloween costume is me. <laughs> aren't i scary enough uh star and keith will be here we're going to halloween horror nights maybe i'll wear a mask for you guys next week we'll see stay tuned um dylan again uh i don't know what products to sell uh i sell vintage so amazon doesn't work for me corgi uh hill attic uh that's right yeah so you would sell on etsy no doubt about it it's gated thing and strict thing with Amazon. I can't sell on eBay anymore. Got banned for not providing invoices. Thoughts on eBay glitches. It's such a long name, Tanya Brittingham. <laughs> no, it's okay. I like it, Tanya. I like your name. Okay, so let's run down the truths and the myths about Amazon. It's not hard to list. Listing an item on Amazon is exactly the same as listing an item on eBay, except way less boxes to fill out. So you will obviously write a title, right? Except you don't have to write a title if the item already exists on Amazon. So let me give you an example. So I have, ugh, good timing too, I have this. So um, I have my iPad here. I have an iPad Pro, what is this, third generation? Anyways, I have my iPad here, right? And as part of my, as part of my iPad purchase, I bought this case. You guys see this case right here? Right, I bought the case and I bought a Bluetooth keyboard. I kind of just set the keyboard down and then I can sit and type and my iPad's up. Anyways, this is a brand that's not too well known. It's Fintai, Fintai, right? Fintai, Fintai, I don't know. Anyways, um, they have a listing and their title is done. So you would list your keyboard and the title's already done for you. And the item specifics are done for you. And the, the, the main item product information is done for you. All you have to do is fill out your quantity, your price, and a quick little description, done. Do not be overwhelmed by Amazon. I promise you it's super, super easy. Uh, FBA is a little bit more work, but it's super, once you do one or two FBA shipments, you're pretty much streamlined. You know exactly what you're doing. It's no problem. As far as the second comment, which is being gated, restricted, strict on what you can sell, it's true. There are a lot of things that are gated. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna blow smoke. But there are a lot of things that are ungated, a lot of books, a lot of video games, a lot of video game systems, a lot of small electronics, a lot of toys, a lot of games, puzzles, board games. There's a lot of stuff that's ungated on Amazon. So don't be worried about what is gated. Only worry about what is ungated so you can focus on that, right? And then you can build up a niche or a couple of products based on what you're used to finding. And then you can put those all on Amazon. And that's pretty much... Um, how I treat Amazon on like a day-to-day -day basis. I learned what was available and that's all I list. I don't worry about trying to sell Nike shoes because I know I can't sell them. My Nike shoes go on eBay and everything else goes on Amazon. It's pretty easy. Okay, so that is to address the second part. No candle, Randy. Yeah, I got can <laughs> Randy just pointed out my red candle example. It's actually out there. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, Vicky says listing on Amazon, very easy. Yeah, I can knock out an item in like two minutes. I can do like 10 or 15 items in under a half an hour. Literally, it's easy. It's easy. Uh, do video games have to be sealed to sell on Amazon? The only shop. Another myth about Amazon selling is that items have to be brand new or sealed. They do not. Almost 90, if I had to guess, 98 to 99% of everything I sell on Amazon is used. I barely sell new because I don't do retail arbitrage. Uh, I, I'm not a fan of RA. I think it's a lot of work for a little bit of margin. 
Um, but you can sell used video games all day long, use video game systems, use cameras, use camera lenses. Let me actually show you guys. I'm going to go AFK from the keyboard. Let me show you an Amazon purchase from this week that you guys will appreciate. And this is one that Kate bought. For anybody who, um, who doesn't know, my fiance is a photographer. Uh, she does family and kid photos and, and uh, engagement photos, and she's started doing weddings lately. Excuse me. Let me pick up my ugh, table here. She just bought this off Amazon. Look, this is a used lens. This is for a Nikon uh, Tamron camera. This is a, um, I think it's a 70 by 200. Can't remember. It's written on here somewhere. Yeah, this is a 70 by 200 millimeter Tamron. This came off of Amazon. Look, see this? This is about a $2,000 lens, brand new, and I'm just kind of tossing it around. This is about a $2,000 lens, brand new. On the used market, it's about a grand. We actually found somebody selling this on Amazon for like, eight, I think she paid eight fifty for it or eight seventy five. dollars Really cheap, considering it's two grand. This thing is in mint condition too. Look, almost no marks on it at all. The lens is in absolutely fantastic condition. Another thing that sells on Amazon, these lenses, really good. Somebody might have bought this used for 500 and sold it to us for 800 and whatever amount of dollars, $900, 850. Anyways, um, there you go. That's another market. And we bought this on Amazon and it's used. You do not have to sell brand new. If I break this, she's going to break my head. Um, you do not have to sell brand new items. It can be used, right? Okay. So uh, that's some of the myth about Amazon. Now with Poshmark, a lot of people thought that you had to sell brand names or designer stuff as well. You can sell anything on Poshmark, clothing, shoes, accessory, and now home good stuff. So don't think that it has to be brand new. Let me jump in the chat real quick, answer a few questions, then I'm going to move on to the next section of it. Um, Christopher, thank you. Bonanza really slow. What about pre-owned items on Amazon? Lindy Edwards. Yes, absolutely. Everything we do is pre-owned almost. Uh, collectible, one of a kind. Uh, Wayne, not so much, not as easy, not as easy. Pre-owned clothes, no. No pre-owned clothes or shoes on Amazon, no. Uh, do, 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 do. Never tried Amazon, I should look into it. Looks like a pain in the ass to start. It is not, Zombie Bargain Hunter. If you think that Amazon is overwhelming or difficult or you have one of those myths or you think that uh, you can't sell brand new or you don't know anything about Amazon or you're intimidated, please consider picking up the training. I teach you step by step by step how to list your first item from beginning to end, how to list items FBM versus FBA, how to pay for them, how to source them, how to, I teach you everything, it's worth it. Please guys, give me the chance and I'll work with you beyond the purchase. I promise you the below package with all of the training, you will be on Amazon listing and selling stuff in like a day, I promise you. Um, does FBM sell well on Amazon? Uh, Mebo 1000. Yes, I sell a lot of FBM. I'm actually probably 50-50 FBM and FBA. If I sell five items in a day, it's like three and two. If I sell eight items, it's like four and four. Literally, it's almost 50-50 what I sell um, fulfilled by merchant versus fulfilled by Amazon. I teach you both of those in the program below, both of them. Um, you should start off with FBM, get your feet wet, and then uh, once you learn the process, you can move up to FBA. Absolutely. Um, okay, so uh, let's see. Uh, more profit on Amazon or eBay after fees? Greg Murphy. Uh, well, it depends totally on what you're selling, but FBA has a lot of profit. Uh, it, you know, it, again, it depends on what you're spending, your cost of goods sold. Uh, the fees are pretty similar. The store costs on eBay versus Amazon is pretty similar. Um, the percentages are similar. So it just depends really on what you're selling. It depends on the category. It depends, again, on your cost of goods. A lot of things that it uh, it depends on. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, how often do you pay for your death pile cubic? Uh, wait. A minute. How often do you have to pay for your death pile cubic foot storage on Amazon? Um, so Amazon does charge a storage fee, and it's short term storage. And then once your items get to be older than six and twelve months, you'll pay the long term storage. You will have to Google uh, that chart to see what the prices are per cubic foot. I don't have it in front of me. I do have it saved somewhere 
Um, but per cubic foot is saved on the Amazon website. So you have to look that up. I don't know what the prices are. And as far as how often, well, you pay every time Amazon sends the invoice for storage. And of course, if it's long-term storage, you'll pay more. Um, so don't let stuff sit uh, that long. <laughs> how you doing, Aurora Styles? That's Myra. She's in the house. What's up? Can anyone sell on Amazon or do you have to be a business only? Craig, anyone can sell on Amazon. Uh, you will have to give them your social security number or your tax ID uh, like your um, LLC number or your uh, S Corp, C Corp, if you're registered. If you're a sole prop, if you're under your social security number, you'll just give them your social security number. It's that easy. Uh, FBM is fulfilled by merchant. FBA is fulfilled by Amazon. That's right, if somebody asks for that. Uh, thank you so much, Sus uh, Susie Thomas. I appreciate that. How often, oh, what? got that. Uh, swamped with your eBay store? I know a lot of you guys. Okay, so what I wanted to get at with tonight's video is about moving to Amazon and Poshmark. If you never use Poshmark, it's very easy as well. And List Perfectly is a great tool. Um, so we've all experienced hits with the glitches lately. In the chat, show of show of hands that way-ish, how many people had to re-edit all of their listings or a lot of their listings? How many people had issues with the glitches and, and had to fix their item specifics or their size or their color. How many people in the chat, we have almost 300 people in the chat, how many people in the chat had to fix something or a lot of somethings on their active eBay listings? And I'm asking this question for a reason and I'm gonna tell you why in just a second. How many of you had to fix and how many did you have to fix? How much work did it take? I just wanna know over in the chat and then I'm gonna tell you guys why I'm asking that question in just a second. Rod, Ola, yep, he had to fix stuff. Rod did, yep, yep, yep. Um, Real queen, everybody. Uh, Father, son, treasures, what's up? 1,200 items, whoop, lots of it. Vicki Clark, I will address that in just a second. Uh, and Laura, I will address that in a second as well. Um, Philly Picker posted his first video. Very nice after uh, being scared of being in front of the camera. Yeah, it can be intimidating to be on YouTube. There's no doubt about that. I agree. Okay, so the reason I asked about Amazon, I want to get into it to a second, but there's two questions that popped up. FBA for higher profit items. The reason that it's okay to pay uh, Amazon for the FBA fees and the shipping into them is because most FBA Prime items you can charge more for, so it'll offset it. That's one reason, Vicky. Laura, uh, do I post items from eBay to Amazon? There are programs to do that. I have used them in the past. I do not use them now. And I do cross post items that are FBM that are here at my house. You can't cross post FBA items because if you ship them from FBA to an eBay customer, you risk being suspended. It's a type of drop shipping. They don't allow that. So anything I have FBM, I can list on eBay because I can ship it out with either package and either label. Uh, you know, depending on which one, uh, which platform that the item sold on. So that is, um, that's a great question. Uh, really great question. It was Laura that asked that, I think. Um, really, really good question. Yeah. So I do cross post from Amazon to eBay back and forth as long as the items are in house. Um, okay. So the reason I asked if you guys spent an entire day, look, real queen, the reseller, an entire day, Pete Gaither sitting here fixing now 20 out of 150 items for Craig Venable. All of you guys spending a ton of time on eBay, relisting, re-editing, changing, et cetera, et cetera, right? Nothing we can do about it. You had to do it. In fact, I told you in the last video, you had to do it. Okay, so why is it so important to have Amazon or Poshmark or other platforms? Well, when you experience a glitch, whenever we've experienced a glitch on eBay, no matter what the glitch was, the photo glitch last year, uh, the item specific this year, other glitches, it means our sales are down, right? There's no two ways about the sales drop. And once you're in the, I guess the human mode, the, the mental mode of like your sales are dropping, typically you'll get discouraged from listing more. A lot of you have done that. You're like, I've given up. I'm not going to list anymore. Uh, I'm done with eBay, just all this stuff. Right. And so that's kind of a natural part of life when you're down in the dumps and you're upset about something and eBay screwing you or whatever the case might be, um, it's hard to get the motivation back to list. It's hard to be on that platform. And so the only way you're going to get over that is if you can do something to kind of distract your mind from it, right? So a girl is in a long-term relationship and her boyfriend breaks up with her and she sits around eating ice cream all day, 
I know this is a terrible example, but I'm just going to say it because I see it on, I see it on Instagram all the time. And, uh, you know, her girlfriends call her up and they're like, Hey, you got to get out of the house. You got to go to the club. You got to go to the restaurant. You got to go to the bar. You got to, you got to get up. You got to do something. You can just, you can't just sit around and eat ice cream all day. Right. So you have to distract yourself. And so part of owning different platforms and being on different platforms is when eBay gets hard, I'm not saying that you quit eBay, you let it roll and, and you roll with the punches and you do what you can, but you have to be focused and distracted by some other set of items. Otherwise, you're going to get so down and out about that one stream of income and that one platform that you're just going to destroy yourself and you're not going to be motivated to do it anyways, right? Pretty much. So um, I, I guess that's how I feel about it. Uh, Michael Tanner, I decided not to list today because of the glitches, right? You decided to cost yourself money. I got to give Michael a little bit of tough love here and a little bit of that punch in the jaw. Michael decided not to do work because of the glitches. So instead of trying to help himself, he hurt himself. Now, maybe he's listing things and they're not keeping the item specifics and he thinks it's a waste of time. And maybe it would have been, but eh, I'm thinking probably not. Michael decided he made a choice because one thing was going negative that he was going to make another thing negative. You can't do that. Otherwise, you're just going to be double negative down. Um, so anyways, that's uh, that's where that is. Um, Flipping Hippos, you have extras on the side. Is that what saying? Star is in the house. <laughs> What's up, Star? Flipping Hippos, how you doing? Um... <laughs> Rod, I like ice cream. Bluebell mu Millennium. <laughs> um, yeah, so it can be stressful. So my point to you guys, my motivation to you guys is don't let that platform being in glitch mode or error mode stop you from using other platforms because that's just one platform. It's literally just one stream of income and you should have so many more. And if you're ready to go, you want me to help you with Amazon or Posh or accounting or anything that you need, the links are below. Please consider using them and I will get you to where you need to be. Amazon is not a hard platform. It's easier to list. It's faster to list. You don't have to take your own photos. In most cases you can, but you don't have to. They have a lot of um, permissions with stock photo and catalog photos to where you don't have to do a whole lot. Awesome. The item specifics are already filled in on Amazon. All you have to fill in is the description box. Like, um, you know, used video game includes the, uh, box manual and artwork, uh, perfectly working, tested, no damage done price 22 99. Bam done. You can preset your shipping settings to be like a dollar 99. So you can set them to like, okay, category. This is what's great about Amazon. You can set a category. Um, I sell a lot of video games. So I'm going to go into video game, uh, shipping settings and choose video, or I'm going to go to shipping settings and I'm going to choose video game category and anytime i sell a video game it's going to be um 2.99 plus 1.99 for any additional item boom people don't need to ask for invoices they pay it they're done it's over that's how easy amazon is okay so what's up uh zombie bargain hunter he says he uh opposite he lists more since sales are down some people get discouraged and so my motivation to everyone today is don't get discouraged just because one website is failing or having mistakes. Don't let it get you down. MNJ Treasures, you can uh, report them. Brenda Smallwood, I appreciate that. And I am more than happy to help you right away with whatever you need. Um, Amazon doesn't require many photos. I do upgrade or upload photos. So like if I was selling a $900 lens or 800 or whatever the hell we paid for this thing, um, I would upload photos. Look, I would upload photos all the way around. We got this thing used, but look, it is in perfect, perfect condition. Um, oh, I did that. There we go. Perfect. Look at, look at the lens. Perfect condition, right? Everything about this is perfect, considering it's a $2,000 lens. So you can take photos, but you don't have to. As long as you describe it, you're good to go. It's just it. Can you sell tools and construction hardware on Amazon? Life choices and changes. Yes. So I have sold a lot of fluke electric meters. I've sold multimeters. I've sold um, packs of like channel locks. I've sold some... Um, some hand shear cutters. I've sold all kinds of stuff like tool wise. I don't know what you mean 
by construction hardware, but if you're talking about like screws and nuts and bolts, uh, I would think you can. I'm not 100% sure, but I think you can. Uh, Fat Man, the Flipper, Alex in the house. What up, everybody? What's up, Casey? And what's up, Alex? How are you doing, buddy? Appreciate that. Uh, we got to get back together, get you on the show over here, get you some subs, some followers. Uh, Fat Man, the Flipper, really great uh, guy. He's down to earth. He's cool dude. Uh, good peoples. I call him good peoples. Uh, Alex is, is good peoples, and um, I'll get him on the show uh, for you guys to enjoy him and his funny videos. But in the meantime, you can type Fat Man the Flipper into YouTube, and he pop up all day, every day. Okay. Um, Crown Vapor. For some reason, I'm selling the best I ever have the last two weeks since they've been having issues. Luck. Very, very much luck. Um no one else selling better than they have been the last two weeks, I promise you. Uh, going to learn to make money. Always keep learning and move forward. Red Cardinal Treasures just bought the $50 package. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Really, really appreciate everything that you guys do for me here. Um, I got like 5,000 books. Blue the Colorado Picker. You got some listening to do, my friend. Um, Alexis, I appreciate that. No rush. Thank you so much. Uh Worked. Sandy says she worked her butt off during the glitches and had several three hundred dollar uh, days this week. Eight hundred twenty five listings, pre owned clothing, really good. You know, if you were working harder and faster than everyone else was, you probably got an increase in search. It probably worked well for you. Uh, Five dollars from Mister Buys a Lot. Casey just finished sending thirty six hundred offers. Already getting some sales. Thanks for the advice. How long do the offers last to the watchers? So uh, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Twenty four hours to the watchers um, with direct offer, right? I believe it's 24 hours, my friend, 24 straight hours that they can respond to it, which is fine. They should see that, right? Yeah, I think. Um, we need you back on our show too, man. I've got the mouthpiece. I'm all set, Alex. All set, all set, all set, all set. Uh, guys, please go show some love to some of the people that watch me, Adam's Exploits and Fat Man the Flipper. Both of them have a really, really good channel. Figgy Flips want to see an interview with me and Mr. Buys a lot. Mr. Brian, yeah, I'm going to get him on here. Uh, we email pretty much every day. He's a cool dude, and uh, I want to get him on the show. So next week, next week, let's count on that. No, no, sorry. Um, we will be gone next week for Halloween Horror Nights. Uh, the week after, let's try to see if we can't get Mr. Buy a lot on there. Uh, oh, Flippin' Hippo. Star just said it's 48 hours for eBay, 24 for Poshmark. I knew it's 24 for Poshmark. It's 48 hours for eBay, so that's even awesome. Um, thank you, Star, for that. Appreciate that. Um, Appreciate your updating me there. Uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, 3,600 offers. How many listings? Over 5,000? Uh, no, he has, Adam, he has 80,000 listings. Mr. Buys, Mr. Buys a Lot has 80,000 listings. I believe that's the number. And I think his quantity is over 100,000. Kate's sister was here last weekend. My fiance's sister stayed with us last weekend. And uh, she bought Michelob Ultra Pure Gold. I don't drink it but it's the only thing we have in the house because I haven't been to the grocery store yet. So take what you can get. <laughs> Alexis McGinn. Um, I have not, oh, I just said your name and my TV picked you up. Sorry. Um, I've not been able to find uh, offers to watchers. Okay, so a lot of people, I'm going to put this in the chat, right? A lot of people don't use the eBay seller hub. I think a lot of people think they're using the seller hub but they're not using the seller hub. So I'm going to go ahead and link this. Uh, Alex, Miss McGinn, I don't want to say your name again. Use the link that I'm just putting in the chat to get to seller hub. Congratulations, Dave and Bill on a thousand, almost a thousand listings, by the way. Uh, I saw that you guys are full time. I'll hit you up in the group chat. Um, no, he does not have a YouTube channel, unfortunately, this time. $1.99 from Mindy Murata. Thank you so much for the super chat, $5. Free beer tastes better. It is free beer. Um, okay. So miss a McGinn, I linked you, uh, straight to eBay seller hub. Once you click on that, click on active listings, and then, um, it'll be right under the active listings at the top. Sandy says wrong. My sales are up 53% from a month ago. That's fantastic. Sandy. That means you've been working hard and, uh, you've gotten a little lucky and you've been working hard. And I'm proud of you for being up 53 plus percent. That's awesome. Fantastic. And uh, be very proud of what you've done, Sandy. That's, that's amazing during this time with all the glitches for you to be up 53%. Congratulations and cheers to that. Good job, Sandy. Good job. 
Um, offer to watchers is a game changer. Yeah, Justin, definitely. Seller Hub is a game changer. Yeah, Fat Man the Flipper, it absolutely is. It's Q4 also, so that should help. Q4 should help, but it hasn't been helping many people because of the glitches. So, um, yeah, that Seller Hub link, I'll go ahead and link it uh, one or two more times, is what you need to be on. So, awesome. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take a few more questions, and then I'm going to get back to watching the Vikings, who are up. Minnesota's beating Washington 13, 13 to 6. Not bad. Oh, Mr. Buys a Lot does have a YouTube channel, but he's not doing a lot on it yet. So I'll get him on a channel, and uh, we'll do it. How can you add your own photos to Amazon listings? Ju Julie Maguli. Um, so when you are making the listing, you'll click the little tab that says advanced, uh, advanced, uh, features or advanced settings. And then it's going to pop up with a whole list of things. And one of them is the, uh, photo in inbox. Um, rockstar, you've been to Webster lately. It's starting to fill up. Uh, I have not been to Webster. However, I want to go on the 28th which is this on the 28th, this Monday with Star and Keith. I want to go um, from Flippin' Hippos. So I want to go with them on the 28th, which is just one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four days from now um, and go to the flea market. If there's a good amount of people, I definitely want to go. That was a concern that I had. Um, yes, all photos on Amazon must have pure white backgrounds. Great point, Michael uh, Tanner. Thank you for that. Should we still make new promoted listings? Yeah, I believe in promoted listings. Can you sell used board games on Amazon? Absolutely. A lot of them are ungated. There are some that may require brand new, but very few. Uh, I went Memorial Day. It was busy there. Yeah, I bet it was. I bet it was. Um, Derek, $39.99 is Amazon's price to sell. I'm going to go ahead and give me just a second. I'm going to give you guys where to sign up for free Amazon, uh, but it does cost 99 cents for every item that you sell on Amazon if you don't get the pro account. Okay. So this link is going to get you to sign up for Amazon for free as an individual. Star says she wants to go to the flea market. We can go. Monday morning, it opens at 6 a.m., Star, 6.30, something like that. Uh, Justin, there's a haunted house that pays 20 grand if you finish, and no one's ever finished. i Star for that because I'd like $20,000. Have you made your money back on the remote pallet? No, it's only been two weeks, and we've made about $300. So we spent $1,600. We'll probably make about six to 800 in the first month. And uh, it'll take us about two months to get the money back. That's the plan. Thank you so much. Thumbs up. Yeah, please uh, please do hit that like button, that thumbs up, the blue just below us. It really helps the channel in the search. I, I do appreciate that. We don't get paid extra for likes, but we do get more search, which should end up in more views and more money. So appreciate that. Uh, are these links in your training package I just bought? Yes, Laura. All of the links will be emailed to you if you buy the training package below you will get a link, uh, an email from Sendow, S-E-N-D-O-W-L, Sendow within a minute of buying, and it has all the links. It's 125 videos, 11 guides, and two webinars, plus the link to the VIP group. So you should have all of those. If for any reason you don't get all of those, let me know and I'll send them to you. Um, dude, what haunted house? Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. What flea market is open on Monday? Uh, a weird one here in Florida called the Webster Flea Market. It's in Webster, Florida. It's about an hour and 10 minutes north of Tampa. And uh, I go there pretty often. I go at least, I would say, eight to 10 times a year I go there. Uh, $2 from Adam's Exploits. Okay, fourth time is a charm. Next week, LS Wednesday night. Uh, yeah, the live show Wednesday night next week with Star and Keith. Yes, um, that should be correct. Yes, Adam. Uh, and actually, Adam, if you would like to be on the show next week, we would love to have you on Wednesday night if you're available. Adam, I would love to have you on Wednesday night and promote you. Uh, so let me know in private chat if you can do that. Uh, yeah, so cool. Anyways, um, 
How are the remotes going? Again, we've sold probably like $250 to $300 in net. Uh, they're averaging right around $13, 12 to $13 a remote and about $8 clear. We paid 53 cents, so we're making $7.50 profit on each, which at $7.50 profit, if we spent $16.06 divided by $7.50, we need to sell about 200 to 220 remotes um, to break even. And we probably sold about, I've sold about 20 of them. So uh, each remote is shipped with a little piece of bubble wrap around it in a poly mailer. Uh, a bubble mailer, actually, excuse me, a bubble mailer, which I pay like eight cents a piece for or five cents a piece for or something. And uh, they're shipping for like 276 to 292 for almost every remote. So no big deal. Um, okay, let's scroll down. Webster is in Brooksville, Ron Sears. Uh, Webster is a little bit north of Brooksville. I used to live in Brooksville, Florida. I lived uh, in Spring Hill, Brooksville area for like two years. Webster is about 10 miles north of that, up near um, Bushnell. If you Google Bushnell, Florida, B-U-S-H-N-E-L-L, -L, Bushnell, Florida, or um, Webster, Florida, you'll find that flea market. It's very, very nice. Um, it's huge, too. Uh, okay, so let me see. A couple more questions, then I'm going to head out of here. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Doo -doo -doo. I live in Fort Myers, Cape Coral. Love watching your content. Jake Hayward. Hey, appreciate that, bud. Welcome in from Fort Myers, Cape Coral. You guys are about two hours from us. Uh, we love that area. You're in Tampa Bay. Ever do meetups? Julie, yes, we're going to do a meetup. Uh, stay tuned to this channel and I'll announce it all over. Uh, Greg lived in Mexico City, Florida. That's up by the panhandle, I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe. Um, yeah, so don't get discouraged. Don't let eBay crush you guys. The whole point of this video was to not get down in the dumps about eBay being on the downslide. And it was to get going on other platforms because those other platforms will bring you up and you won't even think about eBay as being down. You know, if you're losing 20 or 30 bucks a day, you'll be making that on another platform. Okay. Adam did link the trading program over in the chat. So pick it up. Uh, it's the best investment you'll make in yourself, your business, and your money. 50 bucks. And I will make sure that something you use out of there will make you back. 10 times your money. You'll make two, three, four, five hundred dollars $500 off of it. So don't you get a lot of returns on Amazon? Michelle Ogle. No, actually I don't. Um, if I sell 200 video games in a month or 300 video games in a month, I may get one, maybe two. It's not very often. Not very often. Hit that like button, guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Uh, I'm in Sarasota. Let's grab coffee, beer, whatever. Let's go thrifting. Ur Urban over landing. Yeah, guys, look, my email is rockstarflipper at gmail.com. If you guys live local and you want to meet up or you want to hang out or you want to be um, a part of something, just, just hit me up, man. Rockstarflipper at gmail.com. I respond to all my own emails and I respond to every email from my private group owners within 24 hours and everyone else within 48 hours. So I respond to all my own emails. No one does it for me and I go through them every night. So yeah, if you're local, yeah, definitely hit me up for sure. Um, thank you, Alexis. I appreciate it. And my TV just went off again. <laughs> Jesus. Um, yeah, plenty of flights, hotel rooms, Orlando. I'd love to have Adam there. Uh, I'd love to have everyone in Orlando at a good time. Um, we got to set that up. Keith and star will be here in just one and a half, two days. So as soon as they're here, uh, we'll make all this happen. We have a lot of more announcements for you guys, as far as offering out wholesale merchandise that we're being offered. And we're offering um, also uh, a spreadsheet that you guys are going to love, love, love once they're here. Next week, stay tuned to this channel. We have something amazing for you guys for eBay. It's an eBay resource through the roof that will help your sales no matter what glitch eBay has, I promise you. So, uh, just Connie met Casey at Posh Party Live Tampa. Oh, thank you, Connie. I did remember meeting you. Uh, I'd love to see you again. Love to sit down and talk with you some more, for sure. $5 from great to be picking shout out from the East side of Florida. Thank you. Welcome neighbor. Appreciate it. East coast. That would be the Atlantic coast. Those of you not familiar with Florida. Let me give you a quick breakdown. Florida on the Atlantic close coast uh, there on the Atlantic coast on the ocean is Jacksonville. And then you have your uh, like Vero beach, Flagler beach, kind of smaller beach areas. And then you have West Palm beach, Palm beach gardens, and then you have Fort Lauderdale and Miami, Miami Gardens. And then it ends down where you go to the Keys, right? So that's your Atlantic coast. 
In the middle, you have Orlando. We have the tourist area, right? Orlando and Lakeland, Florida. You guys might have heard of Lakeland, Florida. It's really popular for the mud bogs and the mud ramps and the hillbillies and the redneck guys that get out there and get crazy. They're awesome, but not for me. And then the Gulf Coast over at the Gulf of Mexico, you have the Panhandle, which is where Destin and Panama, City Beach and Pensacola and Tallahassee and all that is. And then as you come down the Gulf, down the side, you have Brooksville, Ocala, Spring Hill, which is the northern kind of hillbilly-ish area, the country area. And then you have Tampa Bay, which is more business, millennial, mid-30s type area. And then you have Fort uh, Myers and Naples and um, Cape Coral and those kind of quiet retirement neighborhoods in the south uh, southwest Gulf Coast area. That's how Florida's broken up. Pretty much. And then we have an alligator alley that stretches between the two sides. That's all it is. <laughs> hey, Chatterbrains from Montana and Daytona Beach. Robin, yes, I forgot Daytona Beach. Sorry. St. Augustine over there. Uh, yeah, Miss Boehner is uh, in St. Augustine. So, um, yeah, anyways, uh, you keep having some minor mic issues. I'll have to take a look at that. Thanks, Jimmy, for the heads up. I'll check it out afterwards. Uh, that's weird. Pawn shops, a good sourcing place. Yes, absolutely. Pawn shops are fantastic. No doubt about it. Pawn shops are fantastic. Sexist comment. What was the sexist comment? Sexist. I'm far from sexist. I love women. I love men. I love women. I love everybody. Not like love them like that, but you know what I'm saying. Most of them. <laughs> uh, Mama Primetime lives in Naples. Yeah, yeah. Primetime. Uh, Dominic's uh, family down here as well. Uh, Zombie Bargain Hunter. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much. $2 from Greg Murphy. Doing this for with my son. Thank you for the store review. Yeah, Greg, hit me up anytime, man. Seriously, email me, rockstarflipper at gmail.com. I'll help you out with anything that you need. Uh, thank, your, uh, thank your boy, too, for me. Appreciate that. And uh, a couple more questions, one or two more questions, and I'm going to head out of here. It's uh, 945, so it's about time for me to turn into a pumpkin. Um, one or two more questions, and then I will be out, out, out. Make sure you pick up that training package below. It's awesome. It'll pay for itself, and I will help you along with anything that you need. Um, other than that, I think we covered everything, right? I think we're good. I think we're awesome. Good night, Robert Irvine of Selling Cherry Picker. Thank you so much, Cherry Picker. I love you. And uh, I know you've been here for a while. So, uh, Flippin', did you do the ghost tours? I want to do ghost tours in Tampa. We have a couple in Tampa. I'm going to take Star on a ghost tour or something along that line. So, um, oh, big, huge mistake on my part. I just did this entire show with no charger plugged into my computer. I'm at 8%. So, woo, lucky for that. Uh, You'd make a cute pumpkin, Casey. Thank you. Thanks for all the tips. Thrive each day. Suzette and St. Augustine too. Yeah, yeah. Drop shipping still taboo for you in 2019. Ray Donish. It is a lot of platforms uh, banned drop shipping almost all together or at least 75% of it. So yeah, I don't like drop shipping. Um, Figgy, thank you so much. And Mr. Buys a lot. 36 sales from the offers alone. Wow, dude. That is killing it. I'll be in your emails tonight. I'll email you a little bit later tonight. Thank you, sir. Um, Alex, yeah, hook up with Dominic. Alex, message Dom. You guys should do a show together. Uh, Fat Man Flipper, Alex, and Dominic, please, please, prime time. You guys should do a video together. I'd be happy to promote it. But both of you shoot me DMs so I can get with you. Uh, I want to get you in some channels. And uh, thank you so much, Alexis. Thank you to everybody else. And uh, Elaine Dobra, thank you. Appreciate you picking up that training package. And um, if there's anything else I can do for anyone, please email me, rockstarflipper at gmail.com. I'll help you out. It all comes to my phone. I'll answer the emails all night and day tomorrow. And uh, can't wait. Keith and Star will be here in just about 36 hours-ish, 48 hours. I don't know, something like that. And uh, we're going to party up. We're going to be right here. We'll park on the couch with them. And uh, we'll park uh, outside if they want to hang out at the pool. It's dark. But uh, we'll hang out and uh, we'll have some drinks. We'll go live with you guys. We'll show you some flea market thrift hauls. We'll show you some Salvation Army Wednesday thrift hauls. We're going to do some fun stuff, and I can't wait for him to be here. So I'll see you guys soon. Have a wonderful evening, all of you. And if you need anything at all, email me, rockstarflipper at gmail.com. And, of course, below us is the links for the training program if you want to grab it. Uh, it's worth it, and I appreciate it a 100 times, million times over. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. I'll be back tomorrow night and then again Saturday with Keith and Star. Good night, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you to all my admins, Adam and Alex for being here and Jamie and Justin and all you guys that help with the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. 
And uh, Alex and Dominic, make sure you do a video together. Okay, good night, guys.